Well, it seems like only yesterday that I first introduced my next guest to Trots TV for New Harness Racing New South Wales. Now, apart from still being very successful in the harness racing game, she's a mother of two, and also now a very successful galloping trainer. The lady in question is Ashley Grimes. Well, Ash, it's great to catch up with you once again. It's been about 17 years since we last did the interviews, but in that time you've certainly kept yourself very busy. Yeah, for sure. We're um, busy with horses and children now, and um, I took a bit of time away um, the last couple of years. I've been very quiet and um, did mother duties more than horse duties, which I thoroughly enjoyed, but um, we've bred quite a few um, now, and it was time to sort of get back into the trots and see what they could do. 24 hours in a day, is it enough? Uh, some days yes, some days no. Um, yeah, it's the kids are young, like they're one and three, so it's hard to juggle um, them. And I've only got a small team, and that's manageable. But yeah, it's um, yeah, some days are short, and so, some days are long. It's um, yeah, it's good. As you burst on the scene as a 17-year-old, you had a sensational start to your career. You looked to have the world at your feet as far as harness racing was concerned, but you seemed to drift away from the industry. Yeah, and, um, I had a couple of clients that wanted to get, or they were, were involved in the thoroughbred industry and they um, asked me to take on a few and said that they'd support me, which I got my licence to do that and um, it's probably been difficult. I've always had a harness racing background and I haven't worked for anyone in the thoroughbred industry so it was a bit of um, trial and error and working them out and even though they're a horse, they're so different and um, yeah, so it's taken a bit of time to work that out and, um, you know, use our facilities as well as the um, race course. I'm only 10 minutes from the race course at Bathurst so you know juggling the two and and the workload and you know just trying to wrap my head around all of that it, it took and I um, sort of moved to Menangle in between that had a couple of children in the meantime so the thoroughbreds I've sort of been in and out of but um, I've got a small team there now and um, yeah hopefully we continue to grow in that field as well. The percentage compared to the thoroughbreds and the standardbreds what would be the split? Um, they're probably 50-50 at the moment. Um, I, since getting back into the harness horses, I've just sort of stuck to our own horses and horses that we've bred, um, you know, just to take the pressure away from the clients in that field. But in, in terms of the thoroughbreds, they're all clients. So, um, yeah, I'm probably more public with the thoroughbreds and more personal with the trotters at the moment. Harness racing, you can get in the sulky and know what exactly the horse is doing or how it's feeling. Is it frustrating not being able to do that with the gallopers? Yeah, that's probably made it difficult. Um, a lot of my training with the harness, I know exactly where they're at. I drive them at home. I, I trial them. I race them. I know exactly where the horse is at a lot of the time. And um, I found it hard to probably give the reins. And um, sometimes the feedback's not great and you're so reliant upon the feedback with them. Um, but it's been hard to, you know, work it out plus you know try and have them as spot on as you can and um, we've only really bought cheap horses to muck around with but there, there's a couple of nice horses in the stable at the moment that I think will go well so yeah it's sort of been a, a learning curve but um, I'm confident I'm ready now to sort of to take on that level with them now. Do you get the chance to drive track work? Yeah I drive all the track work still yeah. And what about with the gallopers you get a chance to riding them as well? Yeah, I do their slow work at home um, and then we only live like 10 minutes from the race course at Bathurst so we take them in for their, their gallop mornings. And what about the Team Tool promotion? You've been a great supporter of this over a number of years, once again back in action and you're, and you're driving and earning money straight away. Yeah, for sure. It's such a great thing and to be a part of it year in, year out, I've thoroughly enjoyed it and, you know, it's good to win races but to win races for a cause is certainly, you know, even better. So the more winners I can get in that period, I'll be thrilled. When you do turn up at a galloping meeting, you seem to have plenty of company. James Ponsonby, Blake Fitzpatrick, the list seems to be going on and on now with harness racing participants now switching over to the thoroughbreds. Yeah, for sure. Well, they've, you know, they've got that horse background and it's just a matter of you know tweaking it to fit into the thoroughbred world but you know the money's so good up the road we race for 24,000 at Bathurst so it's really the prize money I think is very appealing to owners and other trainers to get involved and I think you know that's probably one of the main reasons people will maybe have a double in it. And apart from all that particular work you also do all the book work. Yeah, I do. I do all the book work, which at times is behind. A lot of the time it's behind. But yeah, I try and keep up with everything as best as I can, but it can be difficult. Three-year-old girl and a one-year-old boy, but give them a mention. <laughs> yeah, look, they're um, they're good. They're great. That's I love being a mum, but it's challenging with horses. And um, yeah, it's good. I wouldn't change it. Can you sit back and reflect on the last 16 or so years and believe that you've been able to encompass all this into your career? 
Yeah, I've, like I've worked hard and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I love the horses. I love the industry. I love all aspects of the horses. So um, the thoroughbreds is just another, you know, road I've gone down. But it's at the end of the day, I love the horse, and that's sort of what drives me to do what I do. Well, it's great to see you back at Club and Eagle at headquarters, back in the silks once again. Continued success in both the standard bread and the thoroughbred and also being a mum more importantly. Thank you.